Hello everyone, I am Arpita Grawal from ICT department and today I am here to explain my conceptualization topic of subject introduction to communication engineering that is FDM hierarchy. So let's start. First of all, what is FDM that is frequency division multiplexing. So it is one of the multiplexing technique. It combines more than one signal on a shared medium as you can see in figure and the signal of different frequencies are combined for transmission in FDM so you can see in figure that uh, there are many input signal uh, which is passed to multiplexer and uh, it shares one frequency medium between them and after that it is demultiplex and we can get the desired output signal now how FDM works so the total bandwidth is divided to a set frequency band that do not overlap uh, so the you can get the clear signal and each of this band is carrier of a different signal that is generated and modulated by one of the sending devices the frequency band are separated from one other another by a strip of a new frequency called the guard bands which prevents it from mixing from each other and also it prevents from overlapping of the signal the modulated signal are combined together using a multiplexer in the sending end as you can see in figure there are n number of channels uh, which is passed through multiplexer and uh, sent through a frequency medium and after that this demultiplex and uh, after it got uh, we got desired signal so the combined signal is transmitted over the communication channel allowing multiple independent data stream to be transmitted simultaneously and at the receiving end the individual signal are extracted from the combined signal by process of demultiplexing now advantages and disadvantages of FDM so first of all advantages are uh, it is a synchronization free technique so we do, we do not want to synchronize, synchronize transmitter and receiver and transmission of large number of signals simultaneously is possible so we can transmit a very large number of signal uh, through a same carrier and after that we can demultiplex it and extract the signal and FDM demodulation is easy. Uh, some of the disadvantages are channel bandwidth required is large due to many uh, signals and it can result in crosstalk as several signals are transmitted during the same time interval. Uh, so there is uh, some type of noise in it and it can cause intermodulation distortion. Now next is FDM hierarchy. So FDM hierarchy consists of mainly four levels: uh, basic group, super group, master group, and jumbo group. So in FDM hierarchy, different level of multiplexers are combined. So first of all, basic group. So a group that has twelve multiplex voice channels. Voice channels are the channel which can be multiplexed and transmitted through a carrier band and after that it is demultiplexed and extracted to its own signal. So in basic group there are 12 multiplex voice channels. Uh, this voice channel modulates carrier signal in the frequency range from 60 kHz to 108 kHz and it is spaced at 4 kHz from each other. As you can see in figure, uh, there are 12 voice channels and uh, they are all go through a linear mixer and uh, it, it becomes a composite signal. Now the second group is a uh, super group. So super group has 5 basic groups uh, that are multiplexed together as each basic group has 12 voice channels. So super group has 60 voice channels. 
now the third one is master group so the master group has 10 super groups mixed together so now 10 super groups have 60 voice channels each so in master group there are 600 voice channels and the last one is jumbo group so jumbo group has six multiplex master group so this master master groups consist of 600 voice channels so in jumbo group we have up to 3600 voice channels now there is a table of fdm hierarchical system so in first column we are given multiplex level in second column we get number of voice channels in third column we get frequency band and in fourth column we get formation how it form so first one is a basic group which has uh, four, 12 voice channels and frequency is from 60 to 108 kilohertz uh, it is formed by 12 voice channels second one is super group which has 60 number of voice channel and frequency is from 312 kilohertz to 552 kilohertz uh, which is formed by five group the next one is master group which has 600 voice channel and frequency band of 564 kilohertz to 3084 kilohertz and uh, it is formed by 10 super groups and the last one is Jumbo group which has 3600 voice channels and bandwidth of 564 to 17548 kilohertz which consists of 6 master groups and there is one more which is Jumbo group mix that has 10,800 voice channels and frequency band of 3,000 to 6,000 kilohertz and uh, it is formed by three jumbo group so this was all about the frequency division multiplexing of uh, uh, signal and uh, here it was the FDM hierarchy given thank you